Hey guys, this is hopefully going to be a new series on my channel. It is Pokemon Showdown, an online Pokemon battle, and this is one of my favorite things to do. This is a random battle where it just completely gives you random Pokemon, random moves, and you have to try to beat your opponent who also has random Pokemon and random moves. And this is one of the first matches I won. It was very exciting, and I'm very glad that I won it because you're going to see how clutch this ended up, all right? So we're watching from his perspective. He sends out the Vespa Queen. I'm sorry, guys, I have the music off. It's just a little too loud. Can't really hear my voice over. This is the uh, third time I've recorded this. So, as my Corsola sends out Stealth Rock, his Vespa Queen clearly gonna outplay my Corsola. So I was just trying to get as much off as I could. As I give it Toxic, and I put down some Stealth Rocks, and right here Vespa Queen's just gonna take out my Corsola no problem. So Corsola's down, Vespa Queen hurt by the Toxic. I send in Reshiram, which clearly over a bug Pokemon gonna be super effective. And he puts up Defend Order because he figured he would be fast with me. Unfortunately, he was not, so he gets taken out by Toxic. So that's one kill for Reshiram. Keep count of that because Reshiram is definitely gonna come into play soon. So Voltol figuring I could take out Suicune. And clearly I could, because Voltol would definitely have the advantage here. But unfortunately he shoots Ice Beam at me and gets lucky and I get frozen. Uh, okay, so I'm frozen. I can't do anything else with the Voltol. I try a few more times. He goes or he goes to sleep. I figure, okay, he's asleep. Chestoberry, he's back up. And I'm sitting there. I'm frozen. I can't do anything. I'm still getting my leftovers. He roars me out, and then he's trying to kill my Sableye. I use knockoff just to get any item off, but I was stupid. He already used that Chestoberry. I didn't think about it. I send in Furret because I don't know what it does. He uses Skull. Takes down quite a bit. Sucker Punch. I missed it. He uses Roar. Takes out my Cofagrigus. So I'm trying to find out how to kill this guy. I figured I won't switch. I'll let him roar around all he wants. I will not switch unless I'm at a disadvantage. Which unfortunately, there's nothing he really had that much of an advantage over. And he never really got to where he wanted. So at this point, I'm getting his health down. He decides he wants to rest again because he doesn't like where his health is at. Unfortunately, he already used that chest of berry up. So now he's just asleep. I hit him with the shadow ball. Get his speed down, luckily. And get my health a little bit up, a little bit down. He's figuring my Kofagrigus is going to go out quick. What he doesn't know is I have Pain Split, so I'll take my health up, put their health down every time that I need to. And he uses Spikes, and, and I use Shadow Ball, getting him down to 2 health. He gets up to 8, and he's figuring, okay, I'll try to take you out with me. Ice Shard, unfortunately, does not get me far down enough, even with the burn, because I have leftovers. 10 health. So, Cobalion comes in, I automatically use Pain Split, because... The he honestly should have taken me out there, but he did not. He instead he was trying to set up some more. But use that pain split, get it set evenly. And then he's hitting me. He's just trying to take me out. I put Trick Room up so I would get first advantage hit, so I know what's happening if I'm playing out first. Use pain split, get our health equal. This pain split had to be very annoying for him during this match. I'm now down to 11 health. Use pain split again, get us even. He uses that, gets me down to 1 health. Unfortunately, my leftovers aren't going to bring me back enough to survive that burn, and I'm finally out. Now, I set out Sableye, figuring I might get a little faster movement than him because I'm in the Trick Room. Unfortunately, he's resistant to what I'm doing. I did knife his item off, though. Wasn't sure what it was, but it is gone now. It was Leftovers, actually, so... He uses... I use Foul Play, get his health really far down, and then he paralyzes me, which definitely puts me at a disadvantage. Doesn't matter. Took me out right there. I send him for it, thinking that I can take him out, and unfortunately, he get, does close combat. I'm dead. So now I'm down 2-4, and all I know that he has is a Suicune and a Cobalion, because it doesn't tell me what Pokemon he hasn't played yet. It doesn't tell me what they are. So, he decides to use Iron Hand. Unfortunately, I'm resistant, so I use Flame Charge and get my speed up. And now, luckily for me, the random Pokemon he gave me gave Reshiram with Roost, so I can put my health back up, and he cannot. He has Rotom Heat. He puts out the heat Hidden Power. And then I decide to use Dragon Pulse. I take him down a little bit. He uses his Hidden Power again. Fortunately, it's not that effective on me. So I use mine again, and he's down. That is three kills for Reshiram if you're keeping track. Suicune comes in. Unfortunately, he is still asleep. I'm wondering why he put the sleeping Pokemon in. Finally found out that he didn't really have a Pokemon past this. So once I got through Suicune, it was finally done. He's only at eight health. I use a Flame Charge, get my speed up to two times so that I have an advantage over the next Pokemon he sends out. He sends out a Shaman, which is obviously a Grass Pokemon, so... And Reshiram being a Flame Pokemon, it's an easy kill. But he tries his hardest to stay in this. He puts out a Substitute. He gets his leftovers out. I hit him with the Dragon Pulse. He goes to sleep. Unfortunately, he does not have a Chestoberry, so he's not coming back from that rest. 
Now I'm hitting him with the flamethrower. If you look over on the right in the chat right after turn 36 starts, he's he knows he's defeated. GG, all that. I say GG back after killing him. GG, that was close. He already left before I said that was close, but it's all right. That was a really fun match, getting that 4-0 sweep with Reshiram. Reshiram getting five of those kills right there. It was very impressive, and I am very happy to say that Reshiram was the MVP of that match. Definitely not who I expected to be MVP. I expected a Voltal, but after a Voltal got frozen, Reshiram definitely had the moves that were allowing him to quickly sweep through the final four Pokemon that were really, really keeping me down. And I'm glad it all worked out the way it did. Honestly, I should not have won that Kofag That Kofagrigus honestly should have been taken out where it was when the Cobalion came out, because it would have been an easy one-hit KO. I was only at 10 health, but instead he set up the spikes, which was unfortunately the beginning of the end for him. I am very glad that I won this match, and I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button, comment what you want to see me use, because I can also set up custom teams in this. And hopefully I'll circuit the series of these going. And I'll see you later. Peace.